So I did a bit of research about bike locks and I opted for this one which is from On Guard and it's called the Pitbull DTU lock and it comes with your standard it comes with a D lock which is supposed to be pretty secure and then you get an extra cable lock so that you can loop it around your bike as well obviously I know that cable locks on their own are not very secure it's just an extra and this is quite a highly rated it's got solid secure gold secure I think rating which is good for a lock in the packet you get two, five keys this one for some reason is bigger than one of the others I won't show you where to put the key Safety first! Are you off to work on a building <laughs> site? <laughs> um, I think you've forgotten something. Is it my wife? No. Is it my cats? No. Is it my dignity? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it my bike? I'll pass it you. No. <laughs> Needs to be dusted down. I'll dust it with my bum. I'll get cloth. I'll pass you this one as well. First time they've been out in a while. Because they haven't been used in since <laughs> the, the other last time. The other day. <laughs> the last vlog they featured in. There we go. Break down. Well, you did these tyres, didn't you? <laughs> I thought they were fine. Light cam. Safety first. What's that, um? What's that? There's nobody around here. Shall we just get it? I guess so. Do you think someone's left it for someone there? Yeah, but there's no one here. It's not a very busy area. I'm gonna get it. Yeah, let's take it. So we're just out for a little bike ride because we need to go get the gears fixed. And <laughs> we found an, a message in a bottle and it's very sweet. It's got a little ribbon around it and it has a little, it's got it's a got little... words on it. But I can't get it out. Oh, well, let's just wait until we get home. I go do the errands. Yeah. We're going to take this home and we're going to unwrap it. I guess so. Cool. Pop it in my bag then. How exciting. I love a message in a bottle. It's got an A on it. I think it's for me. Maybe. <laughs> what did he do? He just sped past you. We're just like wheeling our bikes along because we're scared of the main road. And then this cyclist just came and sped straight past you. So we've ditched the bikes. Yeah, they didn't work for us. <laughs> now I'm just an idiot walking along with two bike helmets <laughs> and a lock in my bag that weighs a ton. <laughs> And I'm her idiot friend. <laughs> I had to, I had to <laughs> a reminder to take the busy vest off. <laughs> so I guess we're kind of, we're a week into the narrowboat experience and we possibly are on canal time because. <laughs> well, no, I walked into the place and they're like, mm, we don't know when we can fix these for you. And I went, now? <laughs> <laughs> they said four days. I went, or now because <laughs> they said oh we don't know how busy we are and I looked around and I'm like mm. pretty sure there's just us in here <laughs> my cheeks hurt from smiling <laughs> so we have um there's actually a really sweet farm shop around here garden center sorry 
and we we stopped here last time we really wanted to show it to you but I think we were I don't Exhausted. remember. Yeah, so we're actually going to go try to get a cup of tea. I'm hoping for some Battenberg cake. I'm and they had Battenberg. And so we're hoping to do that. And then we have found a message in a bottle. So we think we're going to open that in case we have to take it back to the lock. Because we thought maybe it does belong to somebody else. No, someone must clearly have left it there for us. <laughs> but here it is. You can also access it from Sunnyside. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna film you in because you look like you're confused. <laughs> Honey, turn around and say, Where's my bike? <laughs> this bottle? Yes. I made a mess of it in my bag. Can you get it out? Is it handwritten? Yeah, it's handwritten. Is it? What's the f is it? I'm just reading it. So I read it. Can I read it out loud? Yeah, go on then. Do you want me to look up how to pronounce the word first? What's this recording? Oh no, I have to read it back on the boat. Why? Because it's going to make me cry. Okay, so we have the letter and we're going to read it. And share it with everyone. Do you want, do you you want to hear about it? about privacy. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, we have been on quite the journey together, you and I, starting from that faithful night when we both travelled so far to meet someone special. Oh, I'm going to cry. I'm going to end up crying. You're going to have to read it. I can't read. Okay. Oh. The, oh. Starting from that fateful night when we both travelled so far to meet someone special only to realise that we were right in front of each other the whole while. All the while. <laughs> You're going to cry as well. If only we had known it. I guess it was just meant to be. You're going to cry as well. You are so beautiful and kind. I love how your green eyes sparkle with mischief and you do that grin. You know the one where your dimples are so very cute. The one which I can only imagine is the same grin that you may have had as a child when you were caught climbing out of your bedroom window on those tiny ledges to get up to goodness knows what. I really do admire how courageously strength, oh your career, your curiosity, strength and tenacity the steely determination within that drives you to get things done, big or small. I love the way that you give so much of yourself to many people in your life, yet struggle to allow others to take care of you. Well, I took care of you from the moment we met. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Despite your protests, and shall continue to do so, it's as simple as that. I especially adore how you can I especially adore how you can talk the head off anyone, anywhere, any place. You are so much fun. There's more pages. <laughs> you really do wear your heart on your sleeve. You are absolutely notorious for crying. The biggest, wettest tears known to mankind. Whenever you see a man crying on TV, or any emotional moment in life where the general public are present. <laughs> Yet you are the same soul that showed tremendous courage. Holding my hand each time the dreaded phosphamide had to be given to me and that awful time when we had to go to A&E because I caught an infection. Which resulted in antibiotics being pumped in via cannula in my foot. You were so calm and I never 
for a moment panicked because you were so calm and reassuring. <laughs> there are no more tinted glasses here, my dear. You are not perfect, but you know what? I really wouldn't want you to be. It, it is it's in those crazy weird imperfections that we both have that make us fit. Living our weird geeky lives in our romantic slightly strange bubble <laughs> that could only be described as delightfully, delightfully quirky. quirky. <laughs> Seriously, I do love you dearly and I feel so lucky that we found each other. We're so blessed that we have this amazing life together which I know will continue to go from strength to strength. I guess deep down you really must have had me at Google me. <laughs> Would you do me the honour of consenting to be my wife? That's so sweet. So in the interest of privacy, we won't read out the last the name on the on the letter is cool mo shu fu scooch <laughs> is that welsh no what do you think it is gaelic irish i don't know so we're sorry that we stole your letter scooch <laughs> and thanks for the big cry and um we will, of course, go and put this back where we found it. So that it can be picked up by the rightful owner. Yeah. <laughs> I hope she says yes. No pressure. <laughs>